Good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. I pray that everyone is having a blessed morning, depending on whatever time you watch this video. Oh man, this video. Um, I pray that your day is blessed. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This morning, today is January 10th, 2024, Wednesday. And I wanted to come over here and give you something that the Lord gave me this morning um, while I, in my study time. And I was watching a teaching video um, and just uh, meditating on the Lord's word. And he just began to download some things and I took my phone and as he was giving it to me I was just jotting it down in my phone and then I took it and transferred it to my book um, so I can give it to you guys let us pray father God in the name of Jesus God we thank you for today God we thank you and we ask that you forgive us for our sins, our trespasses, and our shortcomings. God, I thank you that our sleep was not unto death and our rising was not unto judgment. God, thank you for loving us, God. Thank you for um, calling us to you, God. God, we love you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Bless the hearer of this video, God. Allow it to permeate their spirit. Allow them to know that I am just a messenger of you, but they are to seek you. They are to seek the Lord Jesus Christ and not make man an idol, not make me an idol, not make videos an idol, but go to your word, the Bible, and read your word and trust in you. God, we thank you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So it's going to be quick because I am getting ready to go into my job. It's going to be quick, but I am going to give it to you how he gave it to me. So, he said to me, and this is what is for me too, don't want to be heard more than you want to heal. Don't want to be heard more than you want to heal. And you will understand as I get into um, what I wrote down. So, point one, how will you help someone if you're not healed? When you're not healed and you tell someone what you're going through and they're not healed, you guys become trauma bonded. Meaning, you guys are only connected because of your trauma, because of the hurt, because of the abuse. Whatever your trauma is, when you're not healed and you tell your story to someone who is not healed and they are... Um, connecting to your story um, and sympathizing instead of, instead of empathizing you guys become connected only because of the trauma and that can be dangerous and let me tell you why i.e. the narcissist the narcissist spirit that demonic spirit um, was designed to cause further trauma. So we connected to the narcissist and some people have connected even to friends who have been through similar things and you guys come together and because you guys um, share similar stories or similar hurt, you guys become trauma bond. And we're going to read further why this is dangerous. I've been through that I'm sure some of the view, viewers that are watching have been through this. This is going to give you clarity. So Amos 3 and 3. How can two walk together except they be agreed? And agreed means to appoint a symbol to me. I appointed this person that's going to agree with me. I often meet with this person to hear my stories. And we're going to share trauma stories. And we're going to cry. We agree on our trauma we agree on our hurt and nobody is agreeing that they are victorious see people take this scripture and take it that it only means um people who are healed um 
only can agree. No, you can agree with some you can agree with somebody that's a lie. If you're a, if you are living a lie and the person um is also living a lie can agree because oh, thank you Holy Spirit. What does light have with darkness? Light is not going to agree with darkness so they can't walk together. If I'm living in truth and I have friends that are living in truth, we can walk together. If you are living in a lie and you have friends that are living in a lie, you can walk together. You understand? Okay. So point two, when you're healed, your heard voice looks different in appearance and, and sounds different in the atmosphere. Let me say this again. Point two, when you're healed, your heard voice looks different in appearance and sounds different in the atmosphere. Let me um, stop there. When you're healed, your heard voice sounds healed. I'm going to tell you how to get out of that thing. The atmosphere, my, the atmosphere of healing is not going to stay in the atmosphere of defeat. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying to you as a narcissistic recovery coach, as a servant of Christ who has redeemed me out of the conjures of the enemy who has, has delivered me. And let me tell you something, guys. I had to want to be delivered. I had to want to be set free. I had to want to trust God in this. And, and, and um, I had to defeat hopelessness through God's word. You understand what I'm saying? So now this is why I am able to come to you to tell you, listen, I understand and I know the trauma that the narcissist causes, but let me and even give you the tactics of that narcissistic spirit and show you how it works. Show it how you want, how it wants to defeat you. But because God delivered me, I'm not going to be a woe is me um, person that dealt with the narcissist. I'm going to tell you that the demons that I dealt with, but I'm also going to tell you how I, um, God allowed me to overcome, how God healed me, how God delivered me through his word. You understand what I'm saying? This is still point two. Your heard voice sounds like a conqueror and your unhealed voice sounds like defeat. Your heard voice sounds like a conqueror and your unhealed voice sounds like defeat. Some people will call it a what was me. I have met people literally, this is 2024. I haven't seen them this year yet. But last year I did in 2023. I met a couple of them in 2018. They still had that same defeated story. Have you ever, now listen, when people come, I am empathetic. I always direct people back to God. I am not God. I can't heal you, but I can connect you to the healer. You understand what I'm saying? Please don't look to me because T, Tammy, Whatever you feel like you want to call me, I can't heal you. But I know the healer and I can connect you back to the healer, the deliverer, the one that can regulate your mind, the one that can set you free. This is who I'm giving you. I'm not giving you me. If you are watching this video and you're taking to me and not the God in me, you're doing it wrong and you're defeated already because I can't help you, but God can. So... Your unhealed voice sound like defeat. I've met people in like 2018 and 2023. They still have the same what was me story. Guess what, guys? You cannot afford for people to drag you back in the place where God delivered you from. I can't allow someone to drag me back to a place where God delivered me from. Yes, I believe that happened to you. Yes, I know it hurt. Yes, I know you almost lost your mind in that thing. However, I am giving you the healer, the deliverer, the one that can set you free, the one that can regulate your mind. I'm giving you that. If maybe you don't want it right now. And if you don't want it right now, that is okay. Because guess what? I cannot stay in this place and allow you to damper my spirit and draw me back into that place when I've worked so hard to, to be delivered and trusting God that he will set me free. And now that he did, 
I can only give you freedom, the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit. Point three, when you're healed, your posture change. And when someone comes to you who is not healed, you say to them what I just said, I understand and I know you went through this and I know you went through that. But let me tell you how God brought me out. And because he brought me out, I know he could bring you out. Guys, people think wanting to want to be free is an easy thing. Because the enemy tries to trick you out of you can't be free. I pray that you understand. Hear me in the spirit. The enemy tries to trick you that you cannot be free. This is your life. And what happens is because Satan is the father of lies, because Satan lies to you and lies to us, he keep us in that vein of hopelessness. And everything that we do gonna seem hopeless. This happened yesterday. Oh, this happened on Tuesday. Oh, and then it piles up and piles up. And Satan is going, see, I told you, you're not coming out of this thing. You might as well get used to it. See, I told you, they don't even want you at that job. See, I told you, you're never going to get married again. Why are you no longer in that relationship? Why he cheated on you? Why she cheated on you? Because that's not who God has for us. That's why. That's why. Um... Point one, two, three. Point four. A person that is not healed wants to keep talking defeat and hopelessness. I don't know if you ever experienced this. I've experienced talking to people who want to keep talking about defeat and hopelessness so much when you give them God and you give them scriptures and you give the Lord give you things to say the, to them. They're blank in their face and it's like they don't even hear you. You done gave a whole scripture from generations to revelations and they go, yeah, but I know and this happened and, 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 I, and, and I feel like this and I can't. And you know, and every day it's a struggle. It's like you didn't even say nothing. Guys, everybody, we can't help. And let me tell you why, because everybody is not our assignment. Every good deed is not a God deed. Everybody is not our assignment. Tammy, whatever, prophetess Tammy, minister Tammy, I want everybody to know the goodness of God. I want everybody to be free. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. So in this season, I, my prayer is God don't allow me to miss another assignment in this season. Give me who you have assigned to me. And, and, and they will be able to hear his voice. They won't hear me. They'll hear the voice of God. Okay, so I'm almost done. Point five. Stop looking for a man to heal you and look to God and his word. When your conversation is better, you give vic when your conversation is not when your conversation is not good you give victory to the enemy and you give him ammunition to inflict you more bringing up past things bringing up past things the reason why i come on here and bring up and teach you the things that i went through concerning the narcissist is because god has healed me and I'm not a woe is me in my testimony. But I'm telling you that I know what I went through and what you went through. But I'm also giving you tools of scriptures to get out of that thing. And to let you know of the demonic entities that are triggering you, that are trying to take your mind. But if I come on here and I keep crying and I'm crying about what happened to me and I'm not giving you no hope, Satan is going to give me something else to cry about. And it's going to keep on piling and piling and piling like you, you're, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's sort of like you're being buried alive. They gave you, gave yourself a funeral and you're alive. Okay, I'm almost done. 
healing scriptures. Two, Jeremiah 7 and 14. I didn't write that down. Go read that. But Proverbs 4 and 20, 22, and this is the Amplified Version. My son, pay attention to my words and be willing to learn. Open your ears to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and healing and health to all their flesh. That is Proverbs 4, 20 and 22, Amplified Version. There are 31 Proverbs, right? Every day I take a Proverbs, like today is the 10th. Read Proverbs 10, the whole chapter. Tomorrow, read Proverbs 11. And if it's not 31 um, days in the month, then on the last day, you have to double up if it's 30 days. So that means you read Proverbs 30 and Proverbs 31. But take a proverb every day and read it and feed and feed your spirit. Watch how much better you feel. God word not only heal, but it brings truth that shall set you free. The Bible says the truth shall set you free. Who is the truth? The Holy Spirit. Who is the lie? Satan. A lie doesn't set you free. The Bible says the truth shall set you free. So if you're living in a lie, you're not free. But if you got the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit, you can be set free. I love you guys. Today is a good day to have a great day. Remember, pray, fast, and repent. Get in that word. 2024, God got some good things he want to tell you and show you in his word. And God got some good things that's stored up for you because you was not weary and well do doing. And this is your season to reap because you didn't faint. I love you. Have a blessed day.